Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another discussion video. This time we're going to be talking about Mega Tyranitar. I do have CVB with me. Um, and yeah, Mega Tyranitar is going to be released at the end of the month. And I wanted Ooh. to uh, just talk about... Obviously it's going to be OU because Titar is OU by usage. And you can't get like... Like I know I know uh, Garchomp, like Mega Garchomp for example, is OU just by placement of its actual... Uh, regular Pokemon before Mega. But what do you think about Mega Tyranitar CVB? Uh, I think it's not gonna have that big of an impact on the meta game. Like, on paper, like even artists, I thought on paper Mega Tyranitar was actually pretty cool, but in practice it just falls short all the time. Yeah, like it's... the problem is, it, it loses, like, its typing is like so bad for something so slow because you get revenge killed by like every common Scarfer. Like, Think about it, you get ready to by Kelio, Garchomp, like Garchomp obviously needs damage because Mega Tita is bulky. Yeah, Mega Tita is uh, so bulky. Uh, it's so bulky, dude. Uh, Terrakion, which I guess is not coming, but you get the point. And you need like a ton of different coverage moves to actually make it work. You definitely need Ice Punch because Zygarde is way too common and just whacks you with Choice Pet Superpower. Uh, Garchomp is everywhere. Uh, Landris, uh, you can't really be Landris without Ice Punch. I agree with that though, but in a metagame without Mega Lopany, because uh, Tyranitar getting yeah. the speed boost, it hits 397 speed with a Dragon Dance, which allows it to outspeed uh, Tapu Koko, um, allows it to outspeed Dugtrio at plus one, and also in a metagame where Volcarona is not running Bug Buzz right now, it's running HP Ice, yeah. Psychium Z, and Overheat. Oh, not Overheat, Fire Move. Overheat. <laughs> I don't know why I said Overheat. It's not running Overheat, guys. Uh, so maybe Dragon Dance does have its place, at least right now, uh, before Lopany comes out, but like CB said, um, it's just really, really slow. Ash Greninja is obviously still faster, but I mean, it's faster. Oh, than right. Like I forgot about that. Damn. Yeah, it's faster by like a point or a point and a half. Yeah, two um, points. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, yeah, because Pokemon rounds down. Uh, but it does have insanely good bulk, like 150 defenses, 120 special defense. Uh, CB was talking about how you could set up on Scarf Gengar's Focus Blast. <laughs> if they do miss one, yes, yes, you can. <laughs> you can. You definitely can. You all, like you set up on Volcarona, as Joey said. You set up on Latios, which is pretty common. Uh, what else? Like you Tapu Fini. Tapu Fini. Yeah, like, yeah, not, nature's Madness into Moon Blast. Yeah, you can set up on most Mad Journey too, because like, Phygium isn't really a thing anymore. Well, they run Twinkle Tech again, which probably destroys you but no i, I don't it, think it one just have like one. flash can yeah, yeah. I, it just have flash can or something that's like you can't really kill there was a problem because again you need coverage which is earthquake or fire punch and like that's not gonna do that much probably yeah fire, fire punch obviously being able to hit scissor and whatnot uh, yeah I, I think you need stone edge uh, on dragon dance 100 percent because of fairies there's so many fairies yeah, yeah. tapu fini lele and whatnot um, um if meta, if meta grows for some reason does go you definitely need crunch for that I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure Metagross is being on. But that's another thing. Uh, Tyranitar can live a Meteor Mash from Metagross and set up right on yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Not Hammer Arm, not Hammer Arm, though. But yeah, it's oh, like, yeah, you, you know what else you need Fire Punch to, for Ferrothorn. So, like, you kind of need both punches and you need Stone Edge. Yeah, I, I agree. Totally I agree with that. Yeah. Landers is ever. Landers is literally, like, one of the best Pokemon right now. Zygarde is pretty busted in its own right. Um, yeah. So you Papa definitely, Chomp. yeah, <laughs> Papa Chop, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but like, like you mentioned earlier, uh, Garchomp needs a bit of prior damage, and by a bit, I mean yeah. like, and he's like forty percent off on you to kill you with Scarf Earthquake. But that's not hard either, because uh, yeah, because like Rocky yeah. Helmet, Tangrowth running around, all that stuff. Uh, it's, I think the the main drawback is that it's hard to see. If it was its own Pokemon, amazing. But it's, like, yeah, it's, no, I was just gonna say, obviously, yeah. The whole mega thing. Yeah, it's like you have to use this as your mega slot. Like if this was just a Pokemon in itself, it'd be pretty amazing. Um, you know, Mystic Tar and whatnot, but uh, <laughs> nice protect. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a mon that like you don't only have to run Dragon Dance. Like I've seen people, I think M Dragon ran like a taunt Mega Tar with HP Grass. Oh yeah, with yeah for stall. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Like, like it can be a stall breaker in its own right. Uh, even like block DD and things like that. Uh, like, I mean, the issue with modern stall is that they all run Duck Trail, though, yeah, so you're not really either, make yeah, that work. Yeah, either Focus Sash or, um, or <laughs> Groundium, uh, Groundium Z. Which exactly. doesn't kill, but it does so much that you're just going to get picked off by, exactly. like, Momola yeah. or Clef. Or, yeah, oh, yeah, Clef is getting a little bit more common, too, I yeah, think. Exactly. Nowadays, yeah, Which is a prize, especially if it's bold. Yeah, because bold Clef is what is right on stall. On stall, you, it has to yeah. be bold. Uh, like, not even just on stall, but I've seen it on, like, balance ish maybe bulky offense ish and even then like plus one stone ish does a lot but like 
it doesn't really do enough for like they're just gonna kill you with like clef plus scarf jump or whatever it's true it's true but the good thing is that one clef is doing like probably like 20 something percent to you with uh moon nah, nah it definitely three it kills there's no way no no i'll, I'll calculate right now I'll actually calculate right now. Open a new tab with sand up. There's no way Clef three KO. Three KO guaranteed. You want to? You're guaranteeing. Are we willing to bet? It's guaranteed. I just calculated, dude. Seventy three point four min. There's not. There's no way. That's not guaranteed. You just have seventy three point four min, and then it's like guaranteed. No, it's guaranteed. It does one fourteen HP, and you're three forty one. What is Clef like so much? Min. What the it's a moon blast. It's a stab of moon blast. Is broken. That's a guaranteed three KO. You're right. Twenty four PP, ninety five base power. That's 30 crazy. Thirty percent drop. Moonblast is so broken, dude. Moonblast is a pretty busted move. It's, it's literally scalled for fairies. Uh, what but... else we got? That lives a hit guarantee. Tapu Bulu, ooh him. Bulu is also another one. Um, uh, Celestilla though, Celestilla isn't killing you back with heavy slam. It can leech yeah. you, stall you, and whatnot. Uh, the great thing is though, uh, like a lot of landers right now are either uh, Rocky Helmet or uh, Dual Dance. I think that's more common than Scarf Landers because uh, the drawback about Scarf Landers is the fact that it's slower than Volcarona. So if you're running a Scarfer, I think Chomp is better, in my opinion. Obviously, you lose out on Intimidate and uh, U-Turn, but that's good for Megatar because Megatar doesn't care about him. It's 427 attack coming off of an Ice Punch, so it's going to smack uh, Landers upon switching. Oh yeah, uh, definitely two kills, like even defensive, I'm yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, easily, easily, easily. Does it though? Let's see. <laughs> no, it, it, uh, but from from neutral, I think so. If yeah, it, it's it, neutral. Yeah, neutral, yeah. It, it, two it kills at minus one easily. Yeah. So that's <laughs> the good thing about Megatar, and then you know being faster than not that Bisharp and stuff. It's so common in the uh, OUT right now. They're running around in UU right now, but that's another thing. Being faster than that, uh, Scissors, Bullet Punch, all, a lot of Scissors are defensive. They that might change up. Or at least a lot of Scissors are running SD now. They're running uh, Defog because they're the best Defoggers when it comes to. Uh, yeah. The Metagross meta, um, yeah. but I don't. I don't think SD Scissor is gonna be common though, because it has so many problems apart from like yeah, wanting like, to give uh, like Zap is super common. So Stila, Heatran, uh, Lele everything. even even Lele brought Lele, blocking yeah, priority. priority block. Yeah, I don't think I don't think SD really has much merit. That's another Great. thing though about Tita, like it can set up on it can set up on Lele's Moonblast. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude! Every special move ever. Yeah, it doesn't matter because Sam boosts your spit death. Third. I mean, like how you much don't... does this have? How much spit death does this have? Uh, oh, uh, it's two seventy seven, four, one twenty. Yeah, four fourteen. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad at all. That's pretty. Yeah, base one hundred. Both have yeah. a drought on. What the hell, dude? <laughs> one fifty defense. Like it, it's like it, it has a ridiculous move pool. But yeah, I don't know. It's like. It's tough to like say, okay, I want to use T-Tar, I want to use mixed T-Tar because it lures this and this, right? But this is also my Mega, so I can't lure it for uh, yeah. a specific Mega in the back, or like I can't. But like it hits, it hits ridiculously hard though. Yeah, the problem is with like stuff like mixed T-Tar, you like, you're not boosting with an item, which is really a problem. 95 non-item special attack is really not doing anything to anything. Like uh it's really, really weak, dude. I mean, it's still obviously KOing the four times effective mons. Like, Scissor's die dropping to a fire move. Uh, well, yeah, but still, that's like. But, like, even. I don't know, the, dude. Uh, especially, yeah. even if Greninja gets, you know, banned after, because I'm pretty sure Greninja's going to go after Metagross, right? Um, then that just means that Tangrowth can go back to running physically defensive. Yeah. But, I wonder how much edge does to Tangrowth. Uh, Adamant see. or Jolly? What do you mean, Adamant? <laughs> Let's talk about mixed. Uh, Stone Ed. Yeah, like uh, Assault Vest Tangrowth, for example. Oh, that actually does. That actually does a pretty good amount. Forty-six min. That's that's not bad. That's uh, that's just max HP, right? No, that's two fizz dev, dude. Max HP takes like sixty something. Wait, this is just like, you're counting neutral. Like, oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Take, no, plus one. Yeah, vest takes sixty, dude. Yeah, from plus one. Edge. That's not bad. Yeah, fifty-nine to seventy. That's pretty good. Uh, and Vesk, look, Giga Dream's doing 35% min. Yeah, I'm gonna say, what's Vesk doing back, dude? Just grab a few more. Yeah, get a couple more EDs. That'd be cool. Three, okay. uh, but like we mentioned, like it's tough to uh, say, okay, this is my Mega, I'm using this as my designated sweeper. Um, it's definitely not bad, though, because again, priority isn't as... Uh, I want to say it's not as common. And the only reason I say that is because Scizor is the only one really running around with priority right now, right? Yeah. Azu isn't as common in OU, though I think Z Belly Drum is amazing, uh, but we'll talk, I'll talk about that some other time. Uh, Breloom isn't running around because Tangrowth is literally everywhere because of Zygarde, uh, as well as... Um, 
I don't, don't want to say Feeny, but like having the Misty Surge. Uh, yeah, yeah. To an extent, canceling out like Breloom. But yeah, like Megatar is just one of those mons that it has a lot going for it. It just the fact that it has to take up your Mega Slot, and even even that in its own right, like now you only have four turns or five turns of sand, um, so you can't like run it on like a sand team because you don't have enough turns for your teammates to abuse it. Whereas Smooth Rock can obviously, uh, yeah, no, let X I'll drill I'll... and like yeah. like in Rock. But yeah, I do want to know your thoughts. You can uh, you can leave them down below. You can you have anything else to say, CVB? What'd you say? Do you have anything Excuse else me? to say? You have anything else to say about uh, Titan? Not really. I think I think we covered about most of it. Um, can't really think of anything now. I mean, it being faster than Magirna is pretty cool. Like max being Magirna. Yeah, I was thinking of that when you said Bisharp, but I I don't know how much that helps though, because you're not really killing it unboosted. That's true, know. but I don't think I don't yeah. think Magirna's killing you with Twinkle Tackle. Actually, let me let me do one more cog. How much does this do to Toxapex? That might be. It does nothing. What the hell? I forgot, I forgot about Toxpex, I haven't fought in a while. I mean, it's, it's... Uh, pl Dude, plus one edge does like 60 max. Actually, they run Spidef more now, but still, damn. They usually run Spidef for like Ash Ninja nowadays. Okay, unfortunately, Twinkle Tackle Okos <laughs> from Magirna. Oh, does it add Dune Magin? They're so strong. 107 to 126. Yeah, that's timid, timid Z. Dude, Twinkle Tackle is ridiculously strong for Mag. Okay, but, but, but plus one Fire Punch uh, does 86 it, to it, 101, it, yeah. So that's to one max to one max HP or no? It's a neutral. That is so bad. What? No, that's that's only that's that's a good roll with Stealth Rockish. Magirna is a beast. God damn. Well, I mean, is an amazing Pokemon. But like I said, yeah. guys, you can leave your thoughts down below and expect the live later with uh, CB today. So goodbye, friends. See ya.